first day, the king of special soldiers returned home. He met the dealer cheating when he played with his friends at night. Johnson's sense of justice exploded, and he stopped it. As a result, the other party was angry and immediately called a few of his men, intending to teach this meddlesome person a good lesson. But how could this group be any match for Johnson, who could knock out an enemy with every punch he threw? However, as Johnson was fighting, a man was not ethical and used an electric baton to attack Johnson in the back. And Johnson fell to the ground, injured. When he woke up from his coma, he found himself locked in a warehouse. Mike looked at the necklace around Johnson's neck, and the man was suddenly interested. But just as he was about to take it off for himself, Johnson grabbed the other side by the neck, and several people immediately joined forces to subdue him. But one failure after another made Mike feel like he had lost face, so he disregarded his companion, took out a knife, and left Johnson with an unforgettable mark. And at this time, these men do not know what kind of existence they have provoked. They threw Johnson out into the street and waited for a passing car to rescue him. Fortunately, after three operations into rescues, Johnson was finally out of danger. After Johnson was released from the hospital, he wanted to seek justice through the authorities. But to his surprise, the sheriff and the casino owner are friends. Instead of bringing him justice, he was thrown out. While Johnson was distraught, another piece of bad news came. Small nephew, because of the temptation to touch contraband, resulting in hospital rescue dying, and the seller was none other than a casino employee. When Johnson learned the cause and consequence, he was completely angry, and he decided that he would not tolerate it anymore, and he would seek justice by his own strength. Without hesitation, Johnson went to the casino alone with a stick. As soon as he entered, he began to fight, and soon the enemies in the house heard the sound and came at once. But in the face of such a master as Johnson, no match. After Johnson kills several men, Mike reappears with a gun. This time Johnson did not relax. He kicked his opponent's weapon, knocked him down, and then continued the attack. After killing Mike, Johnson reaches out with his right hand and snatches back the necklace that represents his status as a special soldier king. The man looked at the huge mirror on the second floor and hurled the stick at it. And as the mirror breaks, the figure of his boss immediately appears. They looked at each other. Johnson said nothing and walked away. But soon, he was in the dock because of Mike's lawsuit. The other side is so powerful. Even Johnson's defense lawyer has been bought. He urged Johnson to confess all his guilt so that he would only be in prison for three months under his previous military service. If Johnson chooses to fight, he could face up to 18 years in prison. But under such circumstances, Johnson did not compromise. He first fired his own defense lawyer, then walked in front of the jury, unbuttoned his clothes, revealed a gruesome scar on his chest, and revealed the misdeeds of his casino. Once peaceful and peaceful town, because of this drug dealer's appearance, become extremely chaotic. Johnson said that if he is found not guilty, he will run for sheriff to prevent residents from being subjected to this kind of inhuman abuse. He made an impassioned speech that moved all the jury members. Finally, under the pressure of public opinion, Johnson was successfully acquitted and successfully obtained the position of sheriff. And the first thing he did was fire every dirty cop in the department. Then he finds his old friend and asks him to help him clean up the town. The two men team up and an operation against the evil forces begins in earnest, culminating in the arrest of Mike for selling contraband. But Mike did not back down. He resolutely refused to give the boss Mike and the location of the factory. Also put out a cruel word, must let Johnson see blood. But Johnson can only temporarily put him in the police station. As expected, the successive actions have completely angered the casino owners. So the next day, With a loud bang, Johnson's car parked outside the police station was blown up on the spot. Hearing the noise, Johnson was preparing to go out to check, and the next second, someone suddenly took a gun at Johnson. Johnson faced so many armed killers that he had to hide everywhere. He thought that his companions came to rescue him, so excited that he cheered loudly, but he did not expect the killer to hit him directly. Originally in order not to let Johnson catch his own handle, the boss had already issued an order to kill all the mouth. Seeing this, Mike was completely disheartened and shouted out the location of the factory to Johnson. Johnson tries to open the door to let him out, but as soon as Mike gets up, he is shot and seriously wounded. At the critical moment, Johnson did not panic. He opened the floor with a gun and then climbed underground. He took a few people off guard, and the crisis was temporarily relieved. But at Johnson's house, another mob came and killed him. Fortunately, Johnson was prepared and sent his old friends to ambush him in advance. By the time Johnson arrived, the battle was drawing to a close. Based on the address Mike gave before he died, Johnson found the factory, and the boss Mike has been waiting for a long time. He took advantage of the other party in a day's time. Oh, 
Mike wanted to kill Johnson with an iron rod, but Johnson seized the opportunity and dragged him down. They both fell downstairs, but Mike was unhurt. He was the first to get up and push Johnson off the platform, but when he came out of the front door, he found that the other person was not in sight. As it turned out, Johnson had broken his leg in the fight and was limping off into the forest. He came under a tree and snapped the misaligned leg bone back into place. But suddenly, Mike took out an axe and attacked him. Johnson seized the opportunity and rolled down the hill with Mike in his arms. Then he picked up a stick and stuck it with Mike. The fighting power of the two men is not at all equal, and soon Mike is pinned under the tree. But he was still not convinced and kept abusing him. Now next, Johnson picks up a stick and attacks Mike. In this way, Mike, who has dominated the town for many years, was completely arrested, and his casino was all shut down. 